All right, well, we just uh, landed here in Istanbul and uh, through our Airbnb rental, we were able to book a driver to pick us up from the airport and give us a ride to our uh, to our stay. So we've just caught the driver now and uh, here's Rachel over here. We got our little That's pretty fancy mood lighting. Here, right? We got the little, it's almost like a limo here. All right, so if you've flown into Istanbul uh, within the last couple of years and you're interested in coming back again, when you do come back, be forewarned, it will not be to the Ataturk Airport. Uh, that airport is now closed to passengers. It's commercial flights only. So you will now be coming to the new and beautiful Istanbul Airport. Just word of advice when you're picking your uh, where you're going to stay. All right, here's a real quick view from the uh, patio of our rental. Uh, yesterday was when you saw us in the van heading from the airport. This is actually our first morning here. We trying to do our catch up on sleep uh, since we got the jet lags. But uh, I'll make a video for the Airbnb, but I wanted to show real quick, we have this uh, nice patio here. Right, so the Airbnb host, they own a whole slew of uh, tourist related things, the apartment, tours, airport transfer, stuff like that. But with the room comes a free mini breakfast. And so it gave us a stack of these for the amount of days that we're here. Yeah. And it looks like, let's see, we let's got, see what we got a couple of olives, some, I think it's like a garlic type, um, it's not like a tzatziki, but something similar. Yeah, kind of a yogurt based yeah. something. Some fresh bread, and then it looks like um, like a mini sandwich kind of deal there, a little mini salad. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, Rachel got her little her little Turkish coffee. Look at, look at those, he's so cute. It's probably so strong. It's I would, so, I'm sure. I would I never was like, drink he's that. all, do you want sugar? And I said, no, thank you, because generally huh. we don't eat sugar. And I think he thought I was probably crazy. And yeah, uh, yeah there's enough uh, pep in that coffee. I'm sure that she didn't need sugar. <laughs> I'm sure. But uh, we're going to head out today and just do some like basic stuff. Like we need to get some money exchanged. We want to try to get some uh, food in uh, before you're unable to because, oh, don't touch your face. Uh, <laughs> The uh, law here, because of COVID, is that you all restaurants in the entirety of uh, Turkey are takeaway from 10 to 2. So we have a small window to be able to get out and get some of that delicious Turkish food while we're here. So we just left our place after our breakfast and we're going to head to the uh, currency exchange and then to get some groceries, but just wanted to get a nice view of this city here. You can see all these uh, mosques everywhere. And I believe that's the Bosporus, which is the river that flows here. Uh, the bridge that spans between two continents actually spans across that bridge, if I'm correctly, that uh, separates um, Europe from Asia. So we'll head over there at some point. All right, so we just got some uh, money exchanged, which was nice because uh, I don't know if a lot of these smaller places that have some of the better uh, food, like the street food and stuff, I don't think they take cards. Probably safe to assume they don't. But uh, right now we're just walking down this uh, very large uh, shopping district. It looks like. Oh, it looks like we even got ourselves a Burger King here. So if you're uh, you're American, missing your your uh, your burgers, cheeseburgers there, you can get yourself a cheeseburger. But just trying to find a uh, a Vodafone. Actually, we see. I've seen the Turk Cell, which is a. a Turkish uh, service provider here, like every 10 feet it seems like, but uh, having used them in Eastern Europe before, I'm not a big fan, so trying to find a Vodafone, but... Uh, it's because they have a ton of unsolicited advertising. Yeah, it's really weird. You get all these text messages and stuff, so it's kind of frustrating, but uh, yeah, just spin around and give you a little idea of this little area here. So I think these old trolleys are pretty dated. I'll have to look that up later. Not dated, honey. Antique. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, well, look, I they got that. some uh, amuka, it looks like, in there. Oh, yeah. Can't really see because of the reflection, but... Uh, That's definitely amuka. Yeah. It's a whole place of them. Oh, was it? Nice. Yeah, there's just a ton of them in there. The name of the street, I'm probably going to pronounce it incorrectly, but it's like a Ishtakal or something like that. It's a... Uh, pretty uh, well-known shopping area here. Apparently a lot of people just come here just to do their shopping uh, specifically to Istanbul to get a little uh, little deals here, I guess. Alright, we just stopped and we got ourselves a couple of these uh, little donners here. 
We got some beef and some chicken there. We're gonna check that out. Gotta have a little fuel to keep us walking around. We're still trying to find the uh, appropriate cell phone place. So our journey continues, but now we'll have a little food in our bellies. All right, guys, we just got our food here and we're just sitting here on the side of the road. There's not really like a park or something. So we're just sitting down on the side of this little uh, shopping mall. Right, it looks like a construction zone. So hopefully we won't be blocking anyone's entry. Right, but uh, Rachel's got her uh, little, uh, I'm gonna call it a Turkish burrito. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, Otherwise known as a Donner Kebab. Well, we got two. She got a like a medium, and I got a, a large one, the chicken ones. And it was roughly ten dollars. How is it? You get any mm. flavor yet? So oh, good. That, that chicken is so good. Oh, mm -hmm. all right, guys. I gotta go. I gotta eat. All right, so we had a change of plan. Briefly, the um, excuse me, the uh, Vodafone actually required you to have your uh, passport in order to register your SIM card. So we have uh, abandoned that for now. We're gonna head back towards our place and uh, try to get some groceries along the way. Maybe drop the groceries and then get our passports and go get some SIM cards. I think the guy was saying it was like 170 lira for like 20 gigs or something, which if you do the math, it's probably not terribly bad. I'll do that math here in a bit, but uh, it's a little bit of that little uh, extension of this main shopping street we were on. Just a little side street that we're heading down. Little veg shops and things of that nature. Alright, here's our little lot from the corner store here. I'm going to show you where it was at. So we just got back from our little journey to get our phones. So just right there on the very corner of that building is a market. And then here's like a fruit and veg shop. And then actually like directly underneath us is a bakery. But uh, we got a uh, couple meals worth of food, and I'll tell you, uh, before we came here, the people, we kind of learned through videos and stuff, and mm -hmm. maybe through people's opinions, that uh, everyone's very uh, hospitable, right? Like, yes. Uh, very friendly. Yeah. Like, there was a point when we were walking before we were on that one strip when we were trying to find the uh, exchange place, and these guys were just sitting in their car, and... They saw us like looking at our map and then the guy said, hey, um, you guys need help. He's like, are you American? Which is awesome because uh, he recognized our accents. Believe it or not, people actually uh, immediately always assume we're like German or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We get that mostly. You get a lot yeah. of Deutschland, Deutschland. Right. So we're like, no. And, and they're like, oh, because I think uh, a lot of Europeans, maybe specifically um, people in this region, they can speak German. So they see us. They think we're German. They want to speak German to us. But we're like, sorry, we, we're, we're American, you know. Oh. But uh, getting back to my point, people are very friendly, and these guys were like, hey, can we help you? And we said, we, we're trying to find these. He said, well, look here, and, you know, and sent us on our way. But um, something I noticed in videos was, like, people, the guy would be like, oh, let me take you there. Let me take you there. Yeah, actually, the guy, he was eating lunch in the car, yeah. and he said, if I didn't have an appointment now, mm -hmm. I would take you there myself. Right, which, you um, know. Which I felt he was very genuine. Right, right, right. And, of course, you know, we didn't take him. Right. Take him up on that, but. Yeah, we didn't take him up on that, and you know, uh, use uh, offers like that uh, in wisely. Wisely, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, cautiously, of course. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys. We got uh, some quick uh, meals here. We got four of these like ramen type uh, noodles, and then we got a couple of cans of diced tomatoes and noodles, so we can do like a simple uh, noodle dish. We got some. Um, Sunflower oil. So one thing we've realized living in Spain as we do and uh, traveling Europe is uh, there's a huge um, uh, usage of sunflower oil here. So that's pretty good. So you always right. find that. Yeah, it's not like canola oil or vegetable oil. You have the option of olive oil or sunflower oil. Or, um, yeah, olive oil. You know, which is, which is perfectly fine, actually. Sunflower flower oil is, is better for you than the canola oil. So for that's, sure. that's good. So we got that. A couple meals there. Um, some honey for our tea, and uh, we'll maybe get peanut butter and bread as well. Some eggs, uh, nice thing of butter there. Some chamomile teas, and then these two large waters. Uh, we got this pistachio chocolate bar. Yeah, we um, we pistachio we're... I think is like the main ingredient in desserts and stuff here. Whether it's the Turkish delight or the baklava or whatever, they always put one put like pistachios in it. So we figured we'd give it a shot. For sure. So all that was like I think slightly under fifteen dollars. Uh, which you know, I, it's not the best price, but it's it's a decent price, I think. And uh, and oh, the guy at the shop was, was awesome, so friendly. He I went to university in the UK, so he spoke Is English very yeah oh, nice. English very very well. Yeah. Um, he was so kind and friendly, mm -hmm. and 
we're gonna go back there just to um, have a, an experience with yeah. him again, because he was very kind. And here real quick, I wanted to show, is my lens dirty? Sorry. Um, this is some Turkish Lira here. Look, I want to point out this guy here. It's the same on all of the dominations. This is denominations. Uh, yeah, denominations. What did I say? Dominations. Dom dominate. Um, Money rules the world. Yes, right. This <laughs> is Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, um, and I find it interesting that he's on every single one of the currencies. Huh. We'll explain who he is in a separate video. In a further video. Uh, so the I'm showing you that real quick because I just wanted to say that uh, it was one USD equals roughly. I'll say 7.75 Turkish Lira. And, and the opposite is like um, one Lira equals 0.13. So 13 cents uh, is one Lira to USD, basically. Uh, so yeah, there's your basic uh, conversion for you. But uh, yeah, we're going to maybe head back out and take our passports and try to get those SIM cards, maybe. Who knows? At this point, I, I've actually had that food and we got groceries and I didn't really sleep well last night because we were jet lagged and uh, so yeah I'm uh, now I'm like slowing down so we'll see here in a bit uh, if we get back out all right so I decided I'm gonna end this video for the day here because I think we're gonna be lazy now and maybe plan some stuff for tomorrow it was such a beautiful day that I I feel uh, I feel like a waste going and just laying and resting but you know you gotta rest your body so you don't burn out because it's supposed to like be cloudy and rainy for uh, uh like a week or two but uh real quick here's a uh, i think like the more like businessy area of istanbul down well, way far over there and a little view around the corner too actually here of uh just the area around us but yeah just wanted to give everyone a real quick idea of our first day here and uh if you're interested stay tuned we'll be uh traveling here for at least the 90 days, which is the full um, allotment of uh, time that our visa allows. And, uh, geez, maybe if I can find, find it in me, I'll uh, shoot a video of this Airbnb real quick. It's uh, one of the smaller Airbnb, no, I could honestly say it's the smallest Airbnb we've ever rented. And in fact, it's smaller than our house in Spain, which is pretty small because our house in Spain is tiny. But uh, yeah, that was a basic rundown of our first day. And uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, like I said, we'll be uh, here for a bit. So if you're curious, stay tuned. Thank you.